guys it's me Novani. i am back with another video for you guys yes you guys so this video is going to be me doing my butterfly locks um for the first time on my own this is not a tutorial because it actually came out pretty bad a little bit messy um definitely not a tutorial like it did not come out like perfect for it to be a tutorial so and i'm not a master of it and i was learning while i was doing it so um i'm starting out with like parting my hair and braiding it up um i this is mistake number one so one of my mistakes was that i tied it with a rubber band you're not supposed to do that because it's gonna be hard to put the crochet needle through to pull the hair and i i forgot all about that so i was braiding it and then first putting a rubber band in it because i wanted it to be neat but it is gonna be neat when you like tie it around so with the hair not with the rubber band so that was mistake number one don't do that don't 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 do that yeah please don't do that um so that's the first step i'm just parting my hair and i'm just braiding so i wanted to talk to you guys um about me not uploading so i'm in 11th grade as you guys know and it's been really tough to just upload and stuff because teachers think we have this whole bunch of time um, since we are in like at home and not physically in school, so I have a lot of work. Um, so yeah, and also I'm gonna try to upload a little bit more. I have some video ideas planned. Um, I'm excited. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I wanted to like have this part over here because I wanted to talk to you guys. Um, I kind of I miss you guys a lot actually. I miss you guys a lot and I feel like I've gone through some changes and stuff because I am 16 now and y'all some of y'all have been watching me since I was like 14 years old which is absolutely crazy um yeah but I wanted to say that I was on FaceTime with my friend because she's basically a hairstylist and she was like helping me with it um with like the technique and stuff because I could not grasp um like taking one strand and wrapping around the other strand without making it a twist that was the hardest part of the style for me um yeah so i'm just braiding up my hair guys make sure your sections are nice okay make sure your sections are nice um parting it took kind of a long time i think it was like half the process to be honest because actually doing the lock um was not that long um i think it took me around an hour two hours to part it and braid it some of them i twisted it because my hair was pretty thin on like the front part of my hair so i made sure to twist it and i really braid it um so we're gonna do this so first you insert your crochet needle um, it takes a lot of practice if you've never used the crochet needle. So after you do that, you pull the hair through, right? And another, I'm sorry if you guys hear that door, but another thing I wanted to tell you guys is that um, you're supposed to make one of the thing, like one of the strands that you're wrapping it longer than the other one. So um, you're just wrapping it around the shorter strand if you know what I mean. I made them equal, which you're not supposed to do. Do not make them equal. Make one of them longer. The thing that you're wrapping it around, make the thing that you're wrapping around longer. So, not the thing, but like what you're wrapping it with. If that makes sense. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not making any sense. But you basically wrap it. Um, it takes practice. It takes practice. I'm not even going to lie. But 
so i was trying to do it but it kind of looked a little bit messy but i kind of liked it messy um i didn't really keep this style in for a long time i think i kept it in for i want to say like two or three weeks because um it was not loosening up it was not loosening up so my edges hurt a lot but i think it's just the way that i did it because i added the rubber band so i'm just i have box braids in right now because i literally cannot support that but so with the end you want to wrap it around your finger and then wrap it back up um that's the best way to secure it you could burn it if you want but i didn't want to burn it i burned some of them but they got stuck together because i burned it so don't really burn them um so you just insert your crochet needle um grab it close it basically and then pull it through um some people do a knot method where they like tie a knot around it i tried that i didn't really like it so i like pulling it all the way through and then taking it and wrapping it my problem is i literally kept making it a twist i kept making it a twist because of just the way that i was moving my hand um yeah if you see me laughing a lot i was really on facetime with my friend who was trying to help me and it's hard to help when you're on FaceTime, so it was just funny. But yeah, um, it ended up looking a little frizzy and just a little like not neat. I didn't really like it. I think, I don't know, I like flat hair. I like it flat on my scalp, so I think that's why I like box braids. But um, yeah, so I'm just repeating that process throughout my hair. Just pulling it through, um, trying not to pull the whole thing in. And yeah, you need to have enough space. So that's why the rubber band method that I used was wrong. Because you need to have enough space to pull it through. And when I didn't have enough space, it hurt my scalp a lot. So you guys can see like my scalp kind of pulling. Yeah, it was a little bit tight. So that, that did not go away because like you're you're wrapping it not like a braid where it looses it up um that makes sense i'm sorry if i'm not making any sense but yeah so i just repeated that process throughout my head um i think parting it is a like a pretty big part of it so take your time to part and watch youtube videos to do it and practice makes perfect so like your first lock that you do versus the last lock is going to be completely different um that's why i wish i started in the back of my head i wish i started in the back of my head but i needed to see the front first but this is just like there's a lot of stuff that i learned throughout this a lot of stuff a lot um and people that are experienced will do it a lot better than you can that's another thing i learned so just practice makes perfect don't get discouraged and just persevere guys um yeah, I really like my part though. I really like the way that I parted it. I was saying like, wow to that. So one side of my head, let me explain the hair. So I use a free tress, um, I think it's called Water Wave. Uh, I wanna say 17 inches, 15 inches around that time. The longest they have, the longest inches they have. So I use that. And um, I used three curls on that other side of my head that I'm not doing. And it looked a lot thicker than the side that I'm doing right now because I used two curls on that side. And I like the two curls a lot better. So I recommend using two curls and not three. Um, I ran out of hair and I had to go to the resupply store and get more hair because I literally just ran out of hair. Um, yeah, the video's about to end soon, but that's basically what I did. I recommend using two curls, the a free tress water wave curl um the longest they have for like a shoulder length because i didn't want it to be like jawline or like neck length i want it to be like a little bit shorter length um yeah so that's what i use i low-key wish i use like a kinky curl because the way that i was like picturing it was a lot tighter curls than this so um that's another con watch videos watch people and like the hair you should use um yeah i would do the style again definitely but i would do it longer and thinner these took significantly less amount of time these took significantly less amount of time 
open box frames. And it looks equally amazing. Okay. I'm breaking out really bad. That's just what happens. But yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for this video. Give us a thumbs up. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.